And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Nate Larson. A mix of sun and clouds to kick off your Tuesday. In fact, pretty uh, gorgeous outside the Arvin uh, Valley web camera this morning overlooking Interstate 86. Uh, we are going to see a good mix of sun and clouds. More clouds as we head into the afternoon as our storm system approaches. A winter storm warning is in effect. Yeah, we have one of these again. We thought we were done with these, but for the central mountains, the mountain valleys could see uh, several inches of snow. The higher elevations above 6,000 feet, 6 to 12 inches of snow. Winter weather advisories for much of the eastern highland areas and southern highlands. Islands. Again, another 1 to 10 inches. Again, lesser amounts under 6,000 feet. Anywhere from 5 to 8 inches or even 10 inches, I think, above the 6,000 foot range. And with our storm system, it's also going to pick up the winds. We'll notice it's breezy this afternoon, but the area is shaded in yellow here. We're going to see 45 mile per hour wind gusts. Now, this is in effect from 9 p.m. this evening through tomorrow afternoon. So plan on it being a pretty blustery and windy uh, next couple of days. Some bad hair days out there. Storm tracker this morning. We do have some showers just in the southeast corner from our storm system from yesterday. So as one storm system exits, we get another storm system approaching the central mountain region. This is, those are some of the remnants from that storm system that's now well off the actual core of the storm system up into the uh, north and south Dakota region. Uh, this next storm system moving in from the Pacific Northwest is going to bring quite a bit of colder air in with it, giving us a chance of even seeing some snow showers as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. Now, a future tracker showing that we get a little bit of a break in between storm systems this morning morning into the afternoon you'll notice the clouds quickly rise in much of the uh, Snake River Plain at least into uh, the western half eastern half still seeing a little bit of clear skies by the noon hour but quickly filling in with a chance of some rain showers even some thunder showers this afternoon now we get an initial front or essentially the warm front coming through around the six o'clock hour behind it though you'll notice the cold front sweeping through at about 11 o'clock this evening so you'll hear those gusty winds you'll also hear possibly even some uh, thunder out there see some lightning uh, we do have a chance of seeing that moisture and then it'll give us a little bit of a break overnight hours but we get a wrap around moisture. The center of this low pressure system will move directly over eastern Idaho. That's going to give us a good chance of seeing some more moisture trickle in tomorrow morning into the Snake River Plain. A chance of some snow showers. Could see a trace to two inches for some areas throughout your Wednesday evening into Thursday. We'll see periods of rain and snow mix tomorrow and then we'll start to see some improvements as we head into Friday. But with that winter returning, we're going to see again some moisture out there. Here's a peek at some snow totals for you. Look at your highs today before the front comes in. Tomorrow, not nearly this warm. In fact, we're only going to be in the 40s for highs for much of the Snake River Plain, just 30s for the mountain areas. It's going to be cold tomorrow. Overnight lows hovering just above freezing. So again, protect those sensitive plants. If you have any already planted in the garden areas or outside, bring those in if you can, if you haven't planted them just yet. Teton area seeing a good chance of some snow showers. Again, travel is going to be difficult over the past areas tomorrow, especially with those colder temperatures and accumulating snow. Not good news for, uh, it's going to help with some of the flooding we're seeing now with colder temperatures, but we're adding more snow that's going to melt, even some rain on snow possible Thursday. So flooding is not going to be looking great heading into the weekend, but we are going to see some more sunshine and warmer temperatures, more spring-like at least, but Eventually. back to flooding and, and, and those <laughs> problems as well. So those mountains that could actually get quite a bit of snow, you yeah, said. Yeah, up to a foot of snow, it looks like, with this storm system. So it's a pretty wow. healthy storm. It's strong as far as temperatures are going to be much colder tomorrow. Bring out those winter jackets yeah. once again. <laughs>